Welcome to A Week in Our Lives. It's been a busy one. Summer is over, the kids are back in school, and we've been so busy there's only chocolate cake for breakfast. We're just a tiny bit cranky and very ready to sleep in our bedroom again. The chateau is in complete disarray. Oh, B, go outside, B. No, that's a yellow jacket. So here we are, day, it feels like 750 of our, our heat wave. So we have a slight breeze. The windows are open, yay. We're working on multiple projects within these two rooms. So I am currently about to paint. Uh, Lincoln has the chandelier up and uh, I'm not sure why I started filming this. I don't know. I don't remember. Errands. Our washer picked the perfect time to die, so a trip to the laundromat was necessary until a new one arrives. We also needed important provisions, pet food and supplies. I'm not going to tell you how much we spend each month on the animals, but if we didn't have any, I'd be driving an Aston Martin today. So this is a light load for us, right? This is barely anything. Yes. We still need outdoor cat food. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, that's for the outdoor cats. So we buy that by the case. And then for our little princes and princesses, they get the fancy food. No. Anything else? Dry food. That's what we normally get. Yeah, I think they're kind of sick now. Okay. We're going to go pumpkin and blueberry. And this will last a while because we're not eating as much anymore. That's because we're not feeding them as much. Not right. because they don't eat as much. <laughs> and Enzo needs a good brushing. This is his favorite thing. Right, Enzo? He's hard to brush because he wiggles around a lot. Yes, good man. Not too much fur. <laughs> You've been saving it all up? Ow, ow, <laughs> You silly. this. He gets so excited he starts to kick. So I have to keep my distance. Right Enzo? Oh my god. Look at all this fur. <gasps> Enzo! I'm sure a lot of you have been screaming at your screen saying, why is she painting with a paintbrush? Use a roller, it's so much easier. Well, yeah, obviously. So the plaster is really persnickety. So ideally, I prime the room and then apply the paint with a roller. But in certain spots, when you put the paint on, the primer sort of rolls off the raw plaster. Now with newer plaster, we haven't had that, that occur when we've had, um, we had our hallway done with new plaster and it's just beautiful and nice. So I suspect it's just the mix they used with, of the plaster or the age of it. So what I did in this room, just painted it by hand with a brush, got every nook and cranny and the paint went on beautifully. It is a thicker paint, so um, that could have contributed to some of the primer flaking off a little bit. I just felt doing it by hand with the brush is much better, and then if I needed a second coat, I can go ahead and use uh, a roller. Once the paint is on, it's, it's fantastic, it stays. I'm not even sure I need a second coat in this room, which is great news for me.
So Lincoln has spent all day working on these baseboards, and soon he'll be hooking up the electricity. You've been out here a few hours okay. fixing the baseboards. Well, I got the other one done pretty. You drilled the hole, and this is this is the spot for the new outlet. Right. Um, so this just needs to be sanded. Right. And that um, baseboard's a little more complicated because it was... Cracked. Yeah. Um, so you repaired the cracks? Well, I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, I repaired the one on that end. There was a big one. You can see it. But mm -hmm. it's right now, so. so it was right here. Right. And you could see it from... Yeah, it was you, basically falling off. Yeah, you so you just back. you glued it and yeah. um, that's done. Clamped it together and let it dry. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you working on now? Well, the the bit I was using the the hole saw wasn't quite large enough for the outlet things, boxes, whatever that I got. Mm -hmm. It was sixty four millimeters. It should have been sixty eight. Oh, so you so have to now, make it... Now I have to open it up with my rasp. And I did it with that, no problem. But I'm afraid that since this one is falling apart, mm -hmm. I need to make it a little stronger before I start sawing on it. Wouldn't it have been easier just to go buy a new uh, drill well, saw thing? A hole saw? A hole saw. Yes, I'm going to buy one now, but <laughs> that was what I had. So, so you're just making do. Yeah. Yeah. Because once you have a, yeah, you can't be a, take a bigger one and try and make a bigger hole. It doesn't work that way. Right. <laughs> so for next time, because I know we're going to need. Oh, yeah, we'll need more. Many more holes yes. throughout the chateau. So I will buy one. Well, I installed the outlets mm -hmm. in this and in the opposite uh, baseboard. Oh, okay. And now I'm going to use these long screws to screw through this one and catch the back of the other one. Pull, so pull them together. Right. So keep everything in place. Right. So fancy. So this is day two of Operation Wainscoting. <laughs> yeah. It's been giving you a hard time, huh? Yes. I think I got it now. Oh, you're just putting the screw into that right. piece no, of wood. There's no wood behind this, it's just bricks. So. Yeah. Problem is, I need to. I forgot the counter. Do over. Yeah, I just need to counter sink it so it doesn't stick out. That's well, on the plus side, we have electricity. Yeah. In both rooms, so that's good. Yeah. Almost done. Maybe almost done. Good. So now it just needs a little... A little touch-up? Yeah, fill it in. All right. Next up, painting. Yeah. Just discovered another layer beneath this, this blue paint. And it's a, a gray paint, and it's got a blue border. And I'm wondering if this was the original paint in the, in the bedroom. Probably is. So this is the color of all the woodwork in the room. I did a little patch, and then we woke up to a little pea, too. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> 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 that was not you.
<laughs> it was one of the cats. So one of the cats peed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of the cats. <laughs> I think they're kind of freaked out with all the uh, all the goings on. So anyway, this is the, the the color. So we had to Lincoln's got to put the plastic back down. I sprayed and cleaned, and I always have my handy dandy pea spray. By, by the case. <laughs> I like I like in the in the photo the cat is like much bigger than the house, which implies or the cat rules the house basically. So anyway, this is the color. And what are we using? What color is it? So it's called Grassy from Earthborn. This is our eco-friendly paint. And I really like the color. I spent the evening chipping away at old plaster so I can apply new plaster to even the wall out. I've taught myself how to do this and I think I'd give myself about a C plus. I need to practice and we have no shortage of holes around here. So this room is just about done except for this wall. I just need to paint up here, prime and finish painting that. This still needs a little bit of drying and my wonky wall down here is almost done. I just have to fill in a few extra spots and sand it and paint. And then we can bring furniture in. And here is the bedroom. Lincoln is going to finish priming this, the tops, and um, that shouldn't take very long. This doorway will be filled in today, and this is just a matter of sort of skim coating this. So we'll be ready for tomorrow. And then I can start painting, which is the fun part. Our whole Upstairs center hallway is uh, full of furniture. Everything's been topsy turvy and twisted. Yeah, yeah I didn't realize how much crap we had in our <laughs> in those rooms. He's gonna fall off. You've been you've been really helpful. Of course, I have. <laughs> you say that with no. surprise. <laughs> no, it just you work on a project. It takes you a long time because it's more technical and. Those are things that I can't do, like electricity and putting right. outlets in, so. I'm the specialist. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> I'm very special. Sunday is normally a day of rest, but not around here. The fun part has begun though, bringing the furniture upstairs. Oh, this is exciting. Tune in on Friday as we'll reveal our finished dressing room and bedroom. All right, that's it. We don't have anything else to say. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.